does that guy get on the field on this drive? Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it, it wasn't his fault. Listen, hey, listen, there's some got, there got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. A first down throw for Cousins. Brought in over the middle by Graham. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Call it a gain of three. And it'll be a second down. And they're going to speed things up here. Cousins now on second down. And he'll be hit from behind and taken down. And now the Rams are going to halt things as they want a timeout. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. Yeah, they've got an extra defensive back out there now on third and 13. Third and long for Cousins. Now they set up the screen. That's good play. And yeah, the Rams are going to go ahead and take another timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. Here's Tressway now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Here's Austin. Whoosh. And he'll go out of bounds across the 35-yard line. A good return there, 17 yards. And the Rams will go on offense here with a first and 10. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Uh, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer. Create space for our runners. And let's go ahead and get these guys. No man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Brent was so good against the Jets a couple of weeks ago, over 100 yards, and then Charles, he followed that up. 43 yards, five catches last week. And his maturity, which continues to increase, they're going to need that now with a rookie quarterback named Jared Goff. They need Kenny Britt to be that target outside that's reliable and that Jared Goff can look to when things are tight. Lance Kendricks, the tight end, will have to do the same. And, of course, they'll do every gizmo package they can to get the ball in the hands of Tavon Austin. Here we go now. Green, 30. Throwing on first down is Keenum. Caught here left side by Britt. And he's brought down. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. That was a nice completion on an out route. And those types of plays are the result of arm strength by the quarterback and timing by the receiver. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. and 10. Here's Keenum. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. A wise move there. Looked like nobody open. Now second down. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. Offense still needing 10 yards. Second down. Keenum will try again on second down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But it looked like a Rams player was able to get his hands on it. Yes, so they will hold on to the football indeed. need. 
So the offensive unit called the T.O. And now we are ready to resume play. So the offense puts the ball on the ground, but they pick it back up. Now they face a third down. They come out here in the eye. On third down, they'll run it with Gurley. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Call it an even 20 yards on the pickup. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Now it's Zerline to try the Ram field goal. So we come upon halftime here in Southern California with the Rams on top as we send you cross country to our EA Sports Studios in Orlando with our halftime report. Here's Larry Ridley. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks, Charles. And